Let me start off by saying a couple of things, and one is that there is no doubt about what the cost is going to be. Um, the impartial umpire in the form of the Queensland Treasury Corporation has said it will cost Noosa and district ratepayers $828 over the next five years to do amalgamate. Uh, $260 in the first year and $142 each year thereafter. Now, there's no point having an impartial umpire if you're then going to ignore the information they've provided. So, um, you know, Council may have a view, obviously various groups in Noosa, including the Noosa Independent Alliance, have a view, but we need to accept what the umpire has said, and that's $828, and that's a minimum. And it's also uh, a minimum in respect of any other CPI cost um, uh, wage increases that the new council will have to bear. So, you know, people need to understand that. Um, and it's, it is possible to say that uh, that can be dealt with by other means. Somewhere, somebody's got to pay. Look, the people of Noosa and District have fought a long and relentless battle to be given an opportunity for self-determination. I respect that. Uh, I just think that the argument has been presented uh, in a very unbalanced way. I think Council has a responsibility as the Council for the whole Sunshine Coast and myself as Mayor for the whole Sunshine Coast to ensure people um, understand what the implications are. I've been very consistent all the way through this debate in saying, one, my preference is for a United Council, and it still is. Two, I wouldn't oppose the vote, and I haven't. Three people must be given all the information so they can make an informed choice. I'm just pr trying to provide the balance that will help them make that informed decision. People typically will make their own judgments. Um, I've uh, refrained from using any numbers uh, to explain the case outside of what's in the Queensland Treasury report. Uh, and the two things that stand out for me most is one, uh, that it will cost people $828. Now, if people are prepared to pay that price, I wish them well. I wonder and I worry about who's speaking up for all of those people who can't afford it, all of those small business people, all the mums and dads trying to raise their kids, all of the young people looking for work opportunities. Who's speaking up for them? Uh, and the second thing is, there's a $76 million uh, turnaround in the region's financial fortunes as a result of turning one strong council into two weaker councils. Yes, they will both potentially be sustainable into the future. But we, are, we need to be conscious that we're wasting $76 million for the privilege.